I have some insider information, put out videos showing you how I'm stockpiling my pantry and those things, how, how the prices are in the store. Please watch those videos. Please get ideas, give tips. It's just motivation to push you forward and hopefully you will get your emergency preps together because we don't know when that emergency is going to happen. My husband talked to a dispatcher yesterday trying to find loads. So I will have that in this video. So please watch the full video because they're just not talking about how drastic things really, really are concerning the port in Maryland and all the rerouting that they have had to do. Trains, yes, they want to use trucks to get that shipment out once they get the ships into the other ports. But there is an issue with that and companies are scrambling, they are frantic, they are struggling. Stay tuned, watch the video, give it a like, share it out with your family and friends so they'll stay in the know. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please join. Please consider subscribing so you'll stay in the know and you will be prepared, hopefully. What's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. So we are still in Columbia, South Carolina, so you don't have to wonder where I'm at, okay? I'm about to go into a store that we do not have in North Carolina, where I live, and that is a Kroger. I have not been to a Kroger in probably a year or more. So I'm looking forward to going in, seeing what deals they have, um, seeing what the shelves look like and just doing something different than a Walmart store walkthrough. Nothing wrong with Walmart. Um, that's what we have. And so that's where I go. But I'm in Columbia and I'm going to Kroger to see what they got. Let me know what's happening in your area. Are the shelves empty? Are they full? Uh, uh, are the stores packed with people? Are the prices looking better or are they looking worse or about the so same? So this is probably going to be my last store in Columbia that I'm doing. Not that I'm leaving. It's just that my store is kind of big. I don't know if I can do the whole store, but we're going to do all we can. So they have four for five here. These are good, especially if you have kids during the summer. Go ahead and stock up on these things. I'm not saying they're the healthiest, but they are shelf stable. And if your power goes out or any other kind of emergency, you got to grab and go. You don't have to heat it up if you don't want to. You can eat it straight out of the can. Up top, you got Complete Meals and Denty Moore. They're about the same, $2.89. They have a sale on some of the fruit though, three for five down here at the bottom and over here two for three. I am absolutely loving seeing the two for three and 10 for 10 and all those things. I haven't seen that in a store in so long. Every now and then I can catch a, a good sale at a food lion but we definitely need a Kroger where we live. Everyone needs a store that's gonna have some things, buy one, get one free, etc. I miss the old store that used to be here called Bilo, but they went out of business um, shortly after 2020 and closed up all of their stores. But listen, when you can catch a sale, catch it because it's becoming harder and harder to purchase food nowadays, even when you are buying things on sale. The store seemed really stocked up. There were some low areas and some gaps here and there, but that could have been because of the great sales they were having, or maybe they just missed a shipment because there was a little bit of front facing, which we all know that grocery stores do this. They've been doing this. So I don't need to hear that in the comments. I already know those things, but there is a shortage that is happening right now. And it's about to intensify as the year goes on. Um, the longer that bridge is down, the more you're going to see those shortages in your stores. Now you see they have canned goods in here that are under a dollar, actually under 99 cents. Um, you can find some of that in Aldi. Occasionally you can find that in Walmart, deal, but it's hit deal. or miss. But looking at this 
buy one get one Kiddos. free it just reminds me of the old days sound like that's only three years ago <laughs> maybe four the old days of bilo and things like that i mean come on buy one get one free bread i have not seen that in so long I know they believe that music will help a shopper buy more or things like that, but it was getting on my nerves. So anyway, I muted that out. You see the prices here. You see the sales that are happening. I do encourage you to um, start saving a little bit out of each of your paychecks. Set some aside for emergency funds, like for your vehicle, etc. Those are things that I'm starting to do again i used to do but i kind of had to delete those funds for other things and those things happen in life things come up that are unexpected and sometimes you have to tap into other funds but don't stop trying to save money as well as get your stockpile together So like I said, there were gaps here and there, for, but for the most part, this store looked better than a lot of stores that I've been in. And it's all gonna depend on the area you're in. You could be at a store on one block and then three blocks down, you know, they're kind of empty or they're kind of full, vice versa. So it's hit or miss. I understand that everyone won't see stores like this in their area. So I see the comments and I do understand that, but I'm just trying to show you what's out here in these different locations. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more store walkthroughs and tours in different states, let me know because this summer I might just do that. I might just go to some stores in other states. Stay tuned for the inside on what's happening with the supply chain. They have a lot of good items you can store for long-term food storage. Now, they did have some shortages in front-facing in this area. But for these prices, I could stock up on this definitely. I mean, that's where I got the bulk of my stuff was from Bilo when back in 2020, 2021, before they shut them all down, then I started doing Food Lion. And then I never really did Aldi. And then I started doing Aldi because their prices were a lot better, but their prices are starting to go up in certain areas as well. So it's just, you know, seek, search, find. I'm absolutely loving seeing buy two, get one free, buy one, get one free, whatever. I'm, I'm loving it. And I feel like even though Walmart has like, you know, supposed to be the low price store, they should start doing this too. And they will probably see, you know, a lot more people shopping in there because of that. Even the people that don't care to shop at Walmart would shop at Walmart. When I first started storing food, I used to come to Kroger because the shelf stable milks powder was cheaper than they are now, but it's still a reasonable price. Coffee, buy one, get one free. Are you serious? Come on, stop that. 
these were my absolute favorite like i would just go to kroger just to get these shrimp right here i didn't know what to think about this area because they did have like a lot of formula on the shelves except for the powdered milk and i'm wondering if they keep that behind locked doors The fact that it's about to be summertime, kids are gonna be out of school, they have these things priced reasonably where you can either buy one, get one free, or get them for a few dollars less and just stock up your refrigerator freezer. So y'all, that's it for the Kroger. I enjoyed that store walkthrough. Um, I did get a couple things, but not much because I forgot to bring my bag that has, you know, that, that keeps things cold for you or whatever. But they had a lot of good deals. I wish we had a Kroger in my part of North Carolina. So let me know what you think of the store walkthrough, what you're seeing in your area. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I really, truly appreciate each of you for coming in when you do to watch the videos and support the channel. I want to give you guys a little bit of inside um, the whole freight situation and the supply chain kind of slowing down and you possibly seeing some empty shelves here and there. Not saying it's going to be drastic. I don't know what that's going to look like um, right now everyone's frantic with the situation that happened in baltimore with the bridge collapse um a lot of that freight is now being moved by trucks once it gets to the port but the thing is they had to reroute from baltimore to virginia some rerouted um, a lot of it rerouted to charleston um and while that might not seem like a long drive on a ship it is a long way so once it gets there getting the trucks there to unload and then deliver this stuff is the headache part because not a lot of truckers are willing to go to the port for a little bit of money for one you can only do one load a day when you're picking up from a port and sometimes the pay does not match the mileage that you have to drive so they're facing that and that's a little insight that i'm giving you because y'all know my husband is a truck driver he talked to a dispatcher yesterday because he had been looking for loads that would pay more than you know what we need to survive honestly um and she was saying how 
you know, that whole bridge collapse, just, you know, no one could prepare for that. And so they're all scrambling. Every trucking company is struggling. So he leases his truck out to different people and move loads. But if the load is not worth moving, if you're not going to pay, that load is going to sit. And that's been the issue that's going on at a lot of these ports. So that's why I say a little insight to you guys. Get what you need now. Because who knows down the road what it's going to look like. What what's going to be in the store for one. And you want to be prepared in your home in case of emergency.